bugs and bugs. everyone today is Thursday March 19th and we want to wish everyone a <laughs> good morning everyone today's March the 19th 2020 and you're watching the fast and the keto -ish. good job man <laughs> that was good yeah, yeah. it's about nine o'clock this morning it was actually Jackson's idea to come out and go for a little hike the weather is great it's a good time to be out. Nobody's here. Everyone is still sleeping. Everyone is still in self-isolation. And because of today's topic, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to be out in the woods here uh, while I'm filming this episode. So, so I had a good idea. So I basically had a good idea. <laughs> yeah, you did have a good idea. This was, this was perfect. So the topic for today is about feeding three things before you start each day. Now, the first thing you want to feed is your spirit. The second thing is you want to feed your mind and the third thing is you want to feed your goals now these are three things i do each morning before i actually start my day number one feed your spirit feeding your spirit could mean many things for me i like to start off with a daily prayer just a prayer of gratitude gratitude that i am safe we're healthy my family is safe now if prayer isn't for you try meditating it's so easy to meditate all you need is a pair of headphones and there's so many youtube videos that you can watch or morning podcasts on meditation now it only has to be like five minutes a five minute meditation works wonders for you and it gets you ready for the day number two feed your mind I like to start off with reading a good book, something that's uplifting, something that's positive, something that's gonna get me ready for my day. Sometimes it's spiritual, sometimes it's um, just a spiritual thought, and sometimes it's reading from, you know, the good book. I like to do that each day when I wake up and it always gets me ready for my day. Um, puts me in the right mindset to do something good and to, you know, stay focused on my goals. And lastly, feed your goals. So once you've fed your spirit, and you fed your mind, it's now time to start feeding your goals. Feeding my goals each day is helping me achieve my goals each day. Now I'm on this 90 day keto cut journey. So far it is day 19 and, and by following these three simple things to do, it's helping me um, stay on track and keep going. I also feel like I'm getting better each day and stronger each day, more discipline and also reaching my goals. And that's it today from the Fast and the Keto-ish. And always remember our mantra, three things to do each day. One, eat healthy. Two, get active. And three, stay happy. And that's it from the Fast and the Keto-ish. My name is Alma LeBan, and I'm here with my son Jackson. And thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs>